What's up, Guardians? My name is Dee Flawless, and we're back here to cover the TWAB for October 20th, 2022. This one's written by Hippie. This week at Bungie, we're getting spooky, baby. As we were saying, the spooky season is officially in season, which means it's time to dust off those chicken masks and get out there to take on some haunted activities with, with Festival of the Lost. But why leave dress up to just our guardians when we can have a little fun in real life too? More on that in a bit. But we have a heads up about what's leaving the weapons pool in the coming weeks and more on how you can put those tucked away cosplay ideas to good use. Since the last two twabs have had some beefier info, this one is going to be lighter so guardians can just get in there and give space grandma all the love she deserves without delay. And Saint 14. Please give Saint 14 some treats. He deserves them. Anyway, let's kick things off with Festival of the Lost, shall we? Festival of the Lost Tricks and Treats. Alexa plays spooky, scary skeletons. Uh, sorry for triggering people's Alexas. Anyway, before we get into the bones of this week's TWAB, we wanted to call out a few things. First, work on TWABs doesn't start the day before TWABs Day. There is planning and team coordination involved that requires advanced work, and today's blog post is no exception. But we have included the launch day hiccups with Festival of the Lost in our known issues portion further down. We also just want to take a moment to say that we're taking the feedback seriously and are appreciative of the players that have respectfully offered their time to help make a good game even better by sharing their thoughts on how this event feels. Being able to share a favorite holiday with the wider community feels like a gift. For the technical side of things, please follow our Bungie Help Twitter for updates. For taking a moment to just enjoy this time of year, I hope you join us for the rest of this TWAB. Okay, onwards, Ghostly Guardians. It's spooky, scary skeleton time, y'all, which means it's time to don your favorite mask and gobble up those delicious treats while taking on haunted activities meant to put the trick in trick or treat. A lot of you have already begun the quest for spookydom, but for those that may be waiting until the weekend to dive in, here's a quick recap on what you can expect. And here we have a video, we won't play it, you can watch it. It's the Festival of the Lost trailer. New gear, which means you can see in the nifty Festival of the Lost trailer above. Legendary Sniper Macabre, the rightfully community chosen mech theme armor ornament set. The community vote on Monster vs. Mechs was a close one earlier this year. New Festival of the Lost event card, Similar to the Solstice event card, this includes free challenges and premium rewards for the spookiest of guardians, includes a new emote, ship, exotic ghost, and a few surprises. And here we have a look at some of the Festival of the Lost themed items up for grabs. Haunted Sectors are back for some EDZ adventuring, where you'll take on hordes of cabal that took the festivities a little too seriously. A new Haunted Sector awaits alongside a few familiar ones. Just don't let those nerds trick you out of your treats. Blast them with Telesto instead. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Wait, there's more! You know we've got some fun challenges in the real world that we'd like to offer as well. Calling all artists, we mean all artists, cosplayers, fiber, digital, food art, the sky is the limit. Make what inspires you, but make sure that you add the right hashtag and at the official Destiny 2 social channel for your region. If not, we may not see it. We'll be giving out some sweet, sweet prizes per region, so don't hesitate to throw your talents into the hat to celebrate with the wider community. And because we're looking to inspire all types of creative, here are a few objectives and hashtags you're going to want to keep in mind. For spooky art and movies of the week, hashtag AOTW, hashtag MOTW. For your best Destiny 2 pumpkin carvings, hashtag FOTL pumpkin. Got any good ideas for frightening Destiny fashion? Now's your time to shine with Threads of Light. We'll be featuring submissions in every TWAB during the event with the one final follow-up wrap-up section right before Festival of the Lost goes back into its annual hibernation to make way for snow and hope. And more cookies, because cookies are treats. And we're all about that life here. One more note, if an official account shares your work, you'll automatically be qualified for a particularly festive cosmetic with the hallowed coronation emblem. Cool emblem up for grabs. We also have some IRL ways to rep that festival hype, including the Headless One t-shirt for those who complete the Bookworm One event challenge and a shiny new Ghost Rider collectible medallion pin for those who complete the seal and title for this year's Spookathon. So long and thanks for all the weapon streaks. All good things must come to an end. Sure, that end is temporary for the loot pool rotations, 
but that's neither here nor there. Here's a heads up of what's leaving the loot pool for the next season so you can get in there and give it your all for that special pew pew goodness before they are gone. So leaving Iron Banner is the Forge's Pledge Pulse Rifle, the Reese Walker Shotgun. Leaving Trials of Osiris is Aisha's Embrace Scout Rifle and the Reed's Regret Linear Fusion. And leaving Nightfalls is the Silicone Neroma Sniper Rifle and Duty Bound Auto Rifle. You know what to do. Get out there and grab what you want before a new wave of rewards awaits. Closer to next season, we'll be sharing more insight into rewards and what players can expect over the coming months. But we also wanted to take a small moment to tease something we're excited about. For Season 20, we're going to be introducing Legacy Focusing. We're not quite ready to share details about that yet, but that is one of the many aspects of the game that players will be learning more about when we're closer to Lightfall and beyond. So new Legacy Focusing. I bet it's going to have something to do with old perhaps maybe sunset gear that's going to be reintroduced into the game. That's what I'm hoping it's for. Sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think that is. We have the player support report with some known issues. Uh, Festival of the Lost Weekly Bright Dust Bounties. We detected an issue where the weekly bounty from Ava Levante were only giving out 100 Bright Dust instead of the usual 200 Bright Dust when Festival of the Lost went live. We implemented a fix for bounties that haven't been turned in, as well as any future bounties picked up by players players affected by this issue will receive any missing bright dust at a later date lord of wolves is disabled lord of wolves exotic shotgun has been disabled due to an issue where it can apply more damage than intended we are targeting next week 6.2.5.1 update to release the fix more information will be provided will be provided when available as far as update 6.2.5.1 next Tuesday, October 25th, Destiny update will be released. View our Destiny server and update status page for maintenance times as well as the timeline below. So there are some times you can convert that in your area starting at 9 a.m. Pacific. The maintenance will begin um, and it will last to 11 a.m. Also have some known issues. Uh, players cannot transform spectral pages into manifested pages blocking progress. Um, and so on and so forth. This one has actually been fixed. Certain shaders may apply textures incorrectly. The Forge Brace emblem does not display. So these are known issues. You can go over those if you want. And then we have some movies of the week. Congratulations to Kim T. Nyang for the King's Paul fan made trailer. Congratulations also to Nyx with the Deep Zone Crypt recreated in Minecraft. And as far as artists of the week, Congratulations to Nodi with a really cool pixel art version of the Festival of the Lost thumbnail. And we also have some more pixel art. Congratulations to Cosmic. And a bonus, some IRL artwork. Congratulations to Jess for making what looks to be a small in out of candy. Okay, very nice. And that's a wrap. It's the first week of Festival of the Lost and there's plenty to do to get some new goodies while also just letting loose and having a good time. As we inch closer and closer to season 19, we just want to reiterate that not every twab is going to be filled to the brim with lots of new info. Some of them will be lighter, but they're always meant to inform what's going on in the immediate future. We'll have more about what's next, including more on weapons, rewards, and other odds and ends in the coming weeks. Can't wait. In the meantime, make sure you're drinking that water, especially with all that candy. Yeah, this is a self-dunk. What's up? Practicing that self-care and always putting that kindest foot forward. Catch you next week, friends. I should go hippie. So there you have it. This week's TWAB. Let me know what you think in the comments below about this week's TWAB and if you're enjoying Festival of the Lost so far. But that's it for me. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out.